Hi, I'm Sasha. Lots of you have been requesting I make a chocolate fudge cake and I've finally done it. I'm sure most of you will have the ingredients in your cupboard because it's super easy to make and here's how I do it. To make this you're going to need 225 grams of plain flour, 350 grams of caster sugar, 85 grams of cocoa powder and a teaspoon of espresso coffee powder. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One and a half teaspoons each of baking powder and bicarbonate of soda. Two medium eggs. 125 milliliters of vegetable oil. 250 milliliters of whole milk. And lastly, for the sponge part of the cake, 250 milliliters of boiling water. And for the simple chocolate icing, You'll need 200 grams of plain chocolate, one tablespoon of golden syrup. You can't buy that where you are. Then click the little link here and I'll show you how to make it. And finally, 200 milliliters of double cream. Putting this cake together doesn't take long, so preheat your oven to 180 Celsius right at the beginning. You'll also want to prepare two 20 centimeter cake tins. You'll want to grease them with butter and then line the bottom with parchment paper like I've done here. Start off by breaking your eggs into the milk, whisking them round. all of your dry ingredients into a large bowl. Mix all that through with a simple balloon whisk. Next put in your milk and egg mixture, your vanilla and the vegetable oil and mix it until you've made a nice paste. mixing, it's one of my favourite things to do. Once you've achieved a smooth batter, it's time to slowly put the boiling water in, mixing all the while. So let's get that started. You'll probably think at this stage it looks far too runny, because to be honest with you, it looks like hot chocolate. Don't worry, it's supposed to look like that. Just keep mixing the water in until it's all smooth. Like this. Next, pour the mixture between your two tins. Split it as evenly as you possibly can. Get them into your preheated oven on a middle shelf. in the oven it's time to make my chocolate icing. In this pan I've put my tablespoon of golden syrup, I'm going to add my chocolate and all your cream. And gently heat it just until the chocolate melts. I don't want to bring this to the boil, we want to get away with heating it as little as possible while still melting the chocolate. There we go, all my chocolate's now melted. So I'm going to get that off the heat and set it aside for about two hours to cool. After 30 minutes in your oven, they should be done and ready to come out. So I'll just pop them out. Now check them with a skewer by putting it in. If it comes out clean, then they'll be done. Absolutely fine. If you do find any batter stuck to the skewer, just pop it back in the oven for about another two minutes and check it again. Now that my cake and icing have cooled down, I'm ready to start decorating. I've just 
just decorated it with some simple icing sugar stars. Do those just before you serve because they disappear into the frosting. I hope you enjoy this when you make it and I hope you've enjoyed watching me make it as well. As ever, please share my videos with your friends and come back for seconds. <laughs>